I'm here. Now, Mr. Darren, will you give us a brief introduction of yours? Well, I was born on February 12, 1809 in England into a well-known family. My grandfather was Eramus Darwin, who was a famous poet and a biologist. Let's now begin with the influences that affect your ideas. Who affected you and how? During the 19th century, the world was filled with new theories of evolution, including Buffon and Lamarck. Personally, Lamarck had an impact on my ideas, as I argued the environment shaped the animals. Although Lamarck was totally wrong about revolution, he gave me the basic beginning steps. Another person who influenced my ideas was Alfred Wallace, a biologist like me. He worked on evolution just like me and wrote a scientific paper which had similar outlines in my book and even talked about natural selection. After reading the scientific paper, I decided to publish my book, Original Species. Charles Leo, a geologist and a good friend of mine, established the basic foundation of evolution as he argued that the earth was old enough to go through geological change, meaning biological change was inevitable. A lot of people influence your thoughts and ideas. I see, so you are trying to solve the problem of how and why evolution occurred, right? Yes. But I was also trying to solve the misconception between the creation and evolution. During the 19th century, the idea of creationism, which argues that every living thing was created by God and was never changed, and the church was far dominant in the theory of evolution. In addition, I tried to solve the whole cause, course, and effect of evolution. I'm ready for the biggest part of this interview. Please summarize your theory to us, Mr. Darwin. My pleasure. Let's first begin by going back a little. Charles Lyell's theory of geological change proved that Earth was old enough to go through biological change. The fact that there was geological change proved to me that the environment would have altered due to volcanoes, earthquakes, and natural disasters. A change in environment means that the animal living in the region will have to compete for survival in the new environment. In this competence, only the only ones with beneficial traits, such as longer beaks, or different colors will survive while the weaker ones diminish. And the fittest one will survive to pass on its genes to the next generation, creating a whole new population or species. This idea of the same species competing each other for survival was totally new to Europe. What was different between my theory and Lamarck's theory was that Lamarck argued that an individual could create a whole new population, while in my theory, it's not an individual, but a population with beneficial traits. Lamarck even argued that if a giraffe stretched its neck during its lifetime, it would pass down to its offspring, while argued that it was a genetic variation that passed down to its offspring. Like I said before, the only ones with genetic variations that give them beneficial traits will survive the struggle for existence and become able to reproduce. I call this theory natural selection. The idea of natural selection is also brought me this new thought that we might all be from common ancestors. This idea of common ancestor was very, very revolutionary and I anti-church. Wow, Mr. Doran, I thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Wish you an A on your project.